Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is burr freezing here. <laughs> I see. I've been reading your comments, and it is so cold here. I know you guys are really cold, too. Um, somebody's down in the 17. I saw a lot of people posting. They had snow, and um, we don't have snow yet, but um, hopefully we won't get any either. <laughs> But it is cold, and it's so funny because yesterday was gorgeous outside, and I was working in the yard for about four hours, and I mowed the grass one more time because I uh, blew all the leaves and everything and uh, got that out, so the garbage was coming today. And then I mowed the grass, so everything looked good, and then <laughs> we got this cold front come through last night, and the wind was blowing like 80 miles an hour. Not really, but like maybe 25 miles an hour. It's freezing cold. And I don't know where. my I didn't have like hardly a single leaf in my yard after yesterday. Because I spent like four hours out there. I go out this morning and everything's covered. <laughs> and I was so mad. I was like, dang it. Of course, I mean, it was like, you couldn't even see the grass before I went out there yesterday. So, it's not quite as bad. But anyway... Um, I figured since you guys probably have made your Christmas cards by now and are starting to mail them out, we'll do some springy cards. So I got my order. We were able to pre-order if we did on stage with Stampin' Up. We were able to pre-order a few things. And so this is actually paper from the Celebration uh, Mini that starts in January. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order next week um, on the 5th. So... This paper was probably one of my favorite things in the Celebration catalog, and um, it's free. So that's the best part. So free with a $50 order, and I'm going to show it to you, and it's just so beautiful. I've already cut up a lot, and I had a meeting last night and did a demonstration with this card. So, um, so these are already cut up. I'll show you the whole pieces. So this is the piece that I'm using to cut out the bird. So you can just pick any bird on here. I just picked one with the colors that I used. So I used Starry Sky for my background piece, which is actually not Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, sorry. I get those two mixed up all the time. Orchid Oasis, and it's not a color in the pack, but I thought it went really well with um, the color that's on here. It says Boho Blue and I think Misty Moonlight maybe and Lost Lagoon, but I don't know, that just looked more like Orchid Oasis or something to me. So I didn't see that on the back. It's got, yeah, Lost Lagoon, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, yeah, or the blues. And then it's got a bunch of other colors too, but um, those blues I just did not like with this bird. So I picked Orchid Oasis, which is not really blue. It's more like a purpley blue. But so this is the card. It's a fun fold. And um, I saw this uh, from Jackie Bullheis. She's another demonstrator. She did um, a video of this card, uh, card fold the other day. And I was like, oh, that looks really cute. So um, I've been looking for a fun fold to do. And I thought I would try this one. And it is super easy and shows off this paper really, really nicely. So this is the, pe the piece that you can cut the birds from. And there's lots of them on here that are purple and blue. Um, but you could just change your colors up if you use any of the other ones on there. Um, here's another piece and another one. That's two of them. And the back is gorgeous too. I'm using this one on my front piece. And that's gorgeous. And there's some more. They're all just absolutely beautiful. The, the birds look watercolored. Um, I used the back of that one, and then that's that other piece with the birds. So, beautiful paper. Love it, love it, love it. It's called Flight and Airy, and it's in the Celebration Mini, which starts January, um, I want to say the 3rd or 4th. I can't, I can't remember, but, um, or if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order next week. So, gorgeous, gorgeous paper, and there's an awesome joining special starting January too. Um, and then I'm also using this stamp set, which is new. This is in the regular spring mini, which also starts then. And I'm using the words from that. I don't know how I got a piece of hair in there. 
um, the worst sending things. And then we're going to use the leaf um, right here for the inside part. So that is a gorgeous set. And um, oh, I think it has dyes. I'm pretty sure it does. I think it's a sweet, if I'm not mistaken. But um, so I've got lots of happy mail. Let me say hello to everybody because I forgot. Um, let me go back. Wow. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Julie. Hey, Mary. Hey, Myra. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Robin. Hey, um, Laura. Hey, Julie. 17 degrees. Yikes. Hey, Francis. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Bill. Um, let me see. Now I'm getting doubles. Uh, Renee. Hey, Diane. I am good. Oh, you're saying... <laughs> You're saying hey to Cindy, Julie. Um, a snow shower in Pennsylvania. Ooh. Um, hey, Hilda. Hey, Diana. Hey, Carrie. Um, oh, I got a package from Carrie, and I'm going to show that in just a minute. Hey, Carol, I got a card from you today, too. Hey, Regina. Hey, Linda. Hey, Marva. And Marva, I got a card for you, I think. I'm pretty sure. So the ones who had their um, names at the end of the last, not last video, but two videos ago, and said they never won a card. I've got your name for today. Hey, Robin. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Judith. Hey, Josephine. Hey, Jody. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in here. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Patricia. All right, I'm going to stop. Oh, Debbie. Debbie. Oh, um, okay, hold on. Debbie. Somebody, who was it? Um... Darlene, Darlene Erickson needs your address to send you a card, and I don't have it, so if you see her on here, she needs your address. Hey, Starla. Um, okay, all right, so let me show you my happy mail. So this one is from Carrie Hamilton, and it is just gorgeous. It is this cute little hot chocolate treat holder, and so it's got hot chocolate and a little... um. Snowmen come unassembled. <laughs> I think it's marshmallows. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's marshmallows in there. And a candy cane and a little stirrer. So it's a cute little box. She sent me the measurements on how to make it and then a pattern. And then, um, so there's the pattern. But I haven't made it yet. And um, then also all these napkins that are so beautiful. So let me show you some of these. I love getting these napkins, and I loved this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then here's some with the cardinal. And this matches our stamp set almost perfectly, that nativity, which I think is sold out now. Um, and here's some with some beautiful um, flowers and some more beautiful flowers. So thank you, Carrie, so much for that. That was so sweet. I love it, love it, love it. So that was from Carrie. And then I got a couple cards. So this one is from Carol. I just got this one today. And this is beautiful. Love it. So I got my first Christmas cards in the mail. So that one's from Carol. And then I got one. Oops. I got to keep the envelope. So anybody that sends me a Christmas card, I'm going to try really hard to get you one back. This gorgeous card is... From Mary Schreiber and she just sent me this to thank her for sending her a Christmas card that she won and I love 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 this card and I think that papers from the Daisy pack I think I'm not positive but I think it is um, I think it's the back of one of them this one is from Laura Pape who is on here right now and she sent me an ornament but it broke I got smushed in the mail I think so she sent me this cute ornament, but it got busted. So I'm going to see if I can glue it back together, maybe. But um, thank you so much for that. That was so sweet. And one more. This is from Sue McVeigh. And she sent me this gorgeous one. This is paper we had, I think, last year. And did um, a really cool... Um, techniques. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I think it's just mm, two pieces of diagonal and you just cut it, but I'm not positive. So I'm going to have to look and see. But it's beautiful. I have to look up how to do that um, 
technique, but it's so pretty. Love, love, love that. And it's embossed. Love the paper. So thank you guys for sending me cards, and I will do my best to get you one back. So that's a sure way to get a card, but I've also got some to give away, so we'll do that. Don't forget, um, only a couple days left to get this card kit. So this is the card kit for the end of this month, and it goes through the 30th, which is, what, Thursday? Today's the 28th, right? Yep. So two more days to get this one. Um, so this is with the $50 order and the host code. And then if you do a $100 order and the host code, you get this one. And just a tip, so some of you guys order over $150. So if you do $150, don't use the host code because you get the host benefits. But I noticed some of you guys, when I check, you order $150 and say you get $15 free. And then you put in, some people put in like a $7 item. And so you're wasting $8. So if you get $15 in free stuff, don't just pick something for $8 and then you lose the other $7. And then other times I see people pick something really expensive, like say a $35 item when you have $15 free. Um, and that you wanna see, you wanna get as close as you can to the free amount because like say if you put the 35 in, that's $20 that's not free and you could have added that in your order so swap it out for something that's closer to 15 that way that $20 would be in your order and you would get more free stuff so you always want to get um you know like if say you get $18 free try to find something really close to $18 or you know maybe a dollar or two extra or you know whatever but um, you don't want to waste those hostess freebies and also there are host only sets in the back of the catalog that you can get with your host money so and those are already on sale for half price so just in case you order over 150 make sure you um remember to do it that way okay um hey everybody who just joined um just got your catalogs robin i'm still waiting everybody we had a meeting last night and almost everybody got there yesterday except me and then it didn't come again today so i'm really upset i got to look at it last night because i've only seen it online and I'm telling you, the the new Spring Mini that starts in January is amazing. Amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's got a lot of stuff that I like. You know, like the um, kind of vintage stuff and this kind of stuff, like nature. Um, beautiful stuff. And also, the celebration is has got a lot of um, cute things. About half of them are really, really pretty and half of them are stuff I wouldn't buy but the paper there's two packs of paper in there that are just to die for that you're gonna love 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 uh, and there's a couple stamp sets that are just gorgeous so there's at least like six things you're gonna love 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 if you're if you like the same style as me um but there's a couple cutesy things too um yeah mary said free dollars is a great time to stock up on adhesives too so how does celebration work? Do you order from the mini January to April catalog and then you pick the free items? So celebration happens in January, February, and it's a little mini catalog and it's got like, I don't know, about 10 things in there and they're all free. Some are with the $50 order, some are with the $100 order. So you, you can order whatever you want. It doesn't have to be from the spring mini. It could be from the regular catalog. And um, for every $50 you order, you get a free item. Um, and then there's some items that are like extra big and they're with a hundred dollar order. So say you order $200, you can either pick four of the, um, smaller items, or you could pick like two smaller ones and one of the big ones, um, to use your free freebies. So it's a great, great time to buy stuff because you get so much for free. And then there's also a joining special and a host special. So... Um, it's my favorite time of the year for Stampin' Up, definitely. Um, oh, Michelle, bummed about your budget. There's a hummingbird stamp that's gorgeous, yes. Um, well, if you're one of my customers, you'll get your catalog in about two weeks or so. I think they're mailed out on December 1st, and usually it takes a couple weeks because they're sent bulk mail. Um... Oh yeah, don't forget thumbs up if you're watching. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this one, 
what you need is a whole sheet of paper. Um, well, you don't really need a whole sheet of paper, but you do to start it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. All right, so this is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to uh, mark it and cut it and score it. So I didn't do that ahead of time so I could show you guys. Um, then you need a piece of designer paper from this pack. This is five and a half by four. So that's this piece right here. And then for the middle piece, there's a middle one here and a middle one here. You're going to need these two pieces, three and a half by four and a quarter. And then for the front is two and three quarters by three and a half. And then I have a white circle. I'll put that over here so you can see it. And then I have my bird that I'm going to cut out. So here are all the pieces for that. So you can take a screenshot. Okay, so there we go. So get a screenshot of that, then I'm going to tell you how to cut this. It's so funny, this paper looks so much bluer on the screen than it does in, because it has more purple in it when I look at it here. That's so funny. But it's definitely not the colors, like, like that is not Misty Moonlight or Boho Blue. I don't know where they, they got the colors to match, because... I don't know. I didn't see it. Lost Lagoon. It's not that. Um, oh, everybody's cold. Oh, Darlene, um, you're on here. So Debbie Salinas is on here if you want to get her address from her. And the other person, I didn't know who that was that you sent me an email about. So, all right, let's get started. So let me take all these off. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to make this. Okay, so you're starting with your whole sheet of paper, and you know I do my paper trimmer upside down, so if you do it the other way, it's okay. You're still going to make the card the same way, but you just have yours the other way around. All right, so what you want to do is mark your cardstock at three inches, which is going to be about right there on the top, and three inches from this side, um, so it'll be three inches from this side on the bottom, three inches from this side on the top. So what I did was I just put it in here at three inches and I put a little mark where the, you can close this if you want to. Well, this one doesn't work the same as the other one, but you want it right in that track. So that's your three inch mark, or you can take a ruler, which I don't see mine sitting here, but so you're measuring three inches. This is the bottom and put just a little mark or, or you can take like, um, you know, some scissors or something and make it. And then just on the other side, do the same thing. So this is the top. So put a little mark at three inches. Can you guys see that? I'll show you. All right, so now we've got our little mark here. So that's three inches right there. And then at the bottom, that's three inches. So then we're gonna cut from here to here, okay? So we're gonna get our mark lined up. So here's the mark there. Somehow my paper got all wrinkled, I don't know how. All right, so there's my mark right there and there's my mark right here. And then slice it. All right, so now you can make two cards because you've got exactly the same two pieces of um, cardstock. All right, so save one for later. So we're gonna take this one. Now we need to score it. So we're gonna score it, and I always do it on the bottom because just that's the way that I use the paper cutter. If you're doing it at the top, do it the same way. All right, so you're gonna go to three inches from this, this point, the short end. So this is a short end, and you're gonna do it at three inches. There's three, and score it. I don't know why my score thing on this one doesn't work as well. And then from the tall end, you're gonna do four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. So there we go. So it's three inches from the short, four and a quarter from the tall. And that's all you need to do. So then when you fold it up, it goes like that. And then you wanna score it really good, really well proper English there and 
I need to put new blades in because they're not super sharp. I'm shredding my paper a little bit. All right, so there we go. So there's our base card. So now we're gonna take our pieces. So this one goes on the back piece. So what you're gonna do, instead of having to measure and cut and all that stuff, you're gonna freehand this. So what you wanna do is kind of center it from side to side. So you've got just that little um, border on both sides and then put it even with the top of that point right there. So right about there, make sure it's even. And so I've got it lined up with that top right there. And then both sides, I've got the same amount showing of blue. Hold that down and then you're gonna trim it right up against the edge of your cardstock. And there you go. So then when you put it down a little bit, it's perfect. So then we'll glue that down. So there's the first piece. Um, I'm not sure what measurements, if you wanted to try and cut that to make it fit, because um, I just followed Jackie's way of doing it and it seemed pretty easy to me to do it that way. All right, so for the next part, we're doing this one on this side. So on this side, we'll have the fresh freesia and on the inside, we'll have the white. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. So put it in the middle like that, and you want it even with that top part right there. So once you get it exactly the way you want it, then you're gonna flip it over and cut that. And then the easy part is here, oops, I must have slipped it, hold on, let me go back up a little bit. I didn't have it all the way to the top. So it didn't come out all the way straight. So hold on, let me fix that. Oops, I keep slipping. You gotta have good hands here. All right, there we go. So I just gotta cut that little sliver. Okay, there we go. All right, now since these two pieces are exactly the same, so I've got this one here. And then on the exact opposite side, I'm gonna have this one, but it's gonna be going the other way. So I need this one like this way. So you can cut this right up with this one. It's probably better to do the, um, the pink one first, then you can, it wouldn't matter which side of the white one you cut. So there's my pink side. And then we can glue that down. I hate to cover up those birds because they're so pretty. So that one goes here. And then on this side, we have our white piece. Make sure you glue the right side of it. You don't want to have your angle going the wrong way. And... And if you're making a bunch of these, the best thing to do is just cut one and then you can just stack them all and just trim them up against each other. So that makes it even easier. So you'd only have to cut one like by measuring it like that. All right, same thing with this one. So you're gonna lay it down here. I'm gonna hold it up and do it. So I've got even on both sides. And, and so you want the top of that even with that mark right there. So then flip it over. The key is just not moving the paper when you flip it over. All right, and then you can throw these little scraps away. And then this one goes right here. And there you go. So there's our inside. And then when you put it together, it's like that. Just make sure you don't have your birds upside down. So there's our base part of our card. All right, so now let me score that a little bit more. It's popping up. Okay, this is the thing I got at Dollar Tree. I just love it. It's um, same thing as like a um, bone folder, but it's not. <laughs> 
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to stamp the white piece before I glued it down. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a post-it note. That's okay, it's all right, don't worry. So let's just take a post-it note and put it right there. And so I'm using this green stamp. So if you ever do that and you're not paying attention and you glue something, you're always supposed to stamp first, then glue. All right, so let's, let me turn this a little bit. I need to have an angle. And I got ink right on my finger. Okay. See, I'll show you what you shouldn't do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this like right here. There you go. All right, all fixed. Okay, so there we go, perfect, and I didn't mess up on my paper at all. All right, so back to this piece. I don't know why it won't stay flat. <coughs> okay, so this one, oh, that was Garden Green. This is our Orchid Oasis. So we're gonna stamp our words on that, and you want them pretty close to the bottom so you've got plenty of room to stamp, I mean, to uh, put your bird. And that's the words from that rose, stippled roses stamp set. Oops, I forgot. We wanna roll it in the blue. So roll that. Then you get that nice blue around the edge. So pretty. I keep getting my fingers in the ink. Okay, so now we're gonna cut this bird out and this is super easy to cut out. Let me read some comments real quick because I see you guys just talking, talking. Um, let's see. Um, Darlene, you might wanna look her up on Facebook maybe. Look her up on Facebook and you can probably get it that way. Or maybe just post a comment. Maybe you could get it that way. Um, oh, well, she just put it on there, so there you go. <laughs> um, oh, Carolyn, you don't like birds? What? All right. Pretty card. Thank you, Julie. All right, so this is super easy to cut out. Just fussy cut. And he doesn't even have any feet that you got to worry about. So that makes it easy. And I don't have my glasses on, so hopefully... Let me get my glasses real quick. Okay, that's much better. I don't know why I don't put those on first. And remember, when you're cutting, fussy cutting, your right hand, well, if you're right-handed, should barely move at all. It's basically just cutting, you know, moving the scissors. But your left hand is the one that's moving the paper. So that way, this hand is kind of turning the paper. This hand just stays straight. So there's my bird. So we're gonna put the bird right there on the top. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here and set him right there. So he's just gonna be plopping on my sending thanks and hold that for a second. Alrighty, then I've got this gorgeous ribbon. So this ribbon is carrying over. This is from the Holiday Mini. And if you guys um, want anything from the Holiday Mini, you better order it soon because everything is selling out. That's another reason I didn't do um, Christmas cards because a lot of the Christmas stuff is selling out. All right, so I'm gonna put tape all over the back. And then I'm gonna do my um, little ribbon starting off the bottom going up making a loop and then bring it down make a loop so what I'm doing is kind of making like a faux bow on the back and I'm gonna have to add some more um, tape but so see on the back it looks like a little bow but I just didn't so I just went up looped it back looped it and I just need to put some more tape on here to hold it. Okay. So it kind of makes like a faux bow right there. 
All right, so now we've got that all stuck. So look how pretty that looks on the front. Love it, love it. You could have tilted it a little bit probably. I put it, should have put it a little bit more this way, but that's all right. All right, then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm gonna put a few, make sure it's on there really good. Oops, oh, yeah, never mind. I was thinking it was gonna be hanging off, but the bird's hanging off, not the circle. Okay, so put an extra stick on there. And peel those off. I got a joke for you guys tonight. I'm running out of jokes though. This is my last one, I think. But somebody sent me this one. All right, so this is gonna go on your front. And I want the bird to just be a little bit higher than the um, top of this. So he's gonna be kind of over the edge, but the circle is all the way on the paper. So that way when you open it, that's over the edge, but the circle's down farther. All right, now here is where we're gonna make it sparkle. So I'm not using shimmer spray. I'm gonna be using the um, Stella. So we're gonna spank Stella tonight. So I just grabbed a Sharpie marker to hit. Stella's getting a good old spanking. <laughs> So just hit your Stella all over if you want to open it up and put some all over. All right, so I'm sure you guys can see that because I can see it. See that sparkle all over. Love it. Oh, we need some on here too. Let's put some on this pink piece. All right, we want lots of sparkle. As you know me, I love me some sparkle. Love it. So I hope you guys, yeah, well, I, you can definitely see that today. It's definitely on there. All right, so, oh, forgot the gems. Wait a minute, we need some rhinestones. Let's get those and I take your pick tool. My goo got gooey. I think I need a new one. All right, so we're just gonna take some rhinestones and put them on here. And I love these rhinestones. Put one there. And where else? Let's do one right on the edge there. All right, so there we go. What do you think? Don't you love it? So pretty, love, love, love this card. And I haven't seen any samples with it yet, so um, just love it though. So this will be in the celebration, so you cannot order it now. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you can order next week. If you're a customer, you gotta wait till January. But super easy card, so the dimensions, um, you can just watch the replay and go back and make it yourself. But you can use any paper you want, any designer paper, but this exact paper, it's not available yet. All right, you guys ready for a joke? Let me read the rest of the comments real quick and then we'll do a joke. Don't forget to do thumbs up if you're watching and subscribe and share and comment all that good stuff for me. Thank you guys. Yes, it is a regular size card. So here's the envelope. So there's the um, card. So it's still four and a quarter across and then this high point right here is five and a half because um, when I cut it at three, so the paper's eight and a half across, and we cut it at three inches, so there's still five and a half. So it's five. It's still five and a half by four and a quarter. So it fits for perfectly in um, a regular envelope. So yes, it is the right size. All right, um, let me see. Oh, you guys are talking to yourselves now. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Um, there's also another one that I saw that was really cute that, and it went straight across on the back and then went diagonal and each part was the same. So I might do one of those, but this one was easier just going straight and you got two out of a sheet of paper. So you have enough. So that's half the sheet of paper and this is the other half of the sheet of paper. So it's one sheet of eight and a half by 11 and you get two cards. So that's why I liked this one the best because the other one, you didn't, you only get one out of a piece of paper. So, all right, here's the joke. 
All right. Um, three friends married women from different parts of the country. The first man married a woman from Indiana. He told her that she was to do the dishes in the house cleaning. It took a couple of days, but on the third day, he came home to see a clean house and dishes washed and put away. The second man married a woman from Michigan. He gave his wife orders to do all the cleaning, wash the dishes, prepare gourmet meals. And the first day, he didn't see any results, but the next day, he saw it was better. By the third day, he saw his house was nice and clean, the dishes were done, and there was a huge dinner on the table. The third man married a girl from South Carolina. He ordered her to keep the house clean, the dishes washed, the lawn mowed, the laundry washed and ironed, and hot meals on the table for every meal. He said the first day he didn't see anything, the second day he didn't see anything, but by the third day some of the swelling had gone down and he could see a little out of his left eye and his arm was healed enough that he could fix himself a sandwich and load the dishwasher. He still has some difficulty when he pees though. <laughs> so don't mess with those South Carolina girls. I would say Virginia is the same because I wouldn't put up with that either. So... <laughs> You can use that for any state. So if you're from a different state, you can change the South Carolina to whatever state you're from because I thought that was cute. So hopefully you like that. Oh, and I've got cards to give away. And also, if you want to send a card to the people that um, need to uplift, which is probably all of us, here's that. So let me move these out of the way. So there's their addresses. And then also, if you want to send me a Christmas card, Here's my address and here's my email. So um, there's my address to send a Christmas card and I'll send you one back. And then here are the winners for today. So these are just the people that last time had not gotten a card yet. So um, take a screenshot of that real quick and then I'll put up um, the winners for this tonight. Um, no, I didn't get the hummingbird. We could only, um, Lynn, we only could order like just a few things because um, it was kind of like a pre-order, a pre-pre-order. So there was only like, I don't know, 10 things we could order and um, I just ordered a few things. So I'm going to do my big pre-order next week. All right, so um, Lorraine Murphy wins this card. This is the, that gorgeous um, Christmas card we made. And then I have a couple of these, Gail Beth Rice. You get a birthday card. Sherry Johnson, you get a birthday card. Um, Fran Moritz Booth, you get a Christmas card. You get a card, and you get a card. <laughs> and Marva Dahoney, you get a card. So those are the winners for today. So um, send me your address to my email, and I will get a card in the mail to you. And don't forget, send me a Christmas card and I'll send you one back. So you guys have a great, great rest of your week until um, I see you on Saturday at noon. Don't forget Saturday at noon. So um, take care, stay warm, everybody. And don't forget to do thumbs up. We're still about 50 down from whoever's watching. So do the thumbs up real quick and like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. And I'll be back on Saturday at noon. See you guys soon. Um, yes. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Yes, Saturday will be the next card kit. Because, oh, the first is Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Saturday will be a new card kit. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.